how do you pronounce it while? Because it's French. Hey guys, today I thought I would catch you up on some doll news. I haven't done a doll news vlog in a little while and there's news. Most of it is very good, some of it is not so good. So I did just wanna talk briefly about uh, the closing of Toys R Us. Um, as you probably know by now, the company has gone bankrupt and the stores are closing left and right. And I did do a, uh, a toy run a couple of weeks ago in Palm Springs, went to Toys R Us. It was very sad, it was very depressing to just kind of have these memories of being a kid and being so excited to come into the store knowing that you know, future generations were not going to be able to enjoy it like we did. But I think those are kind of the times. I mean, when I think about it, most of the toys I buy now are online, so I'm certainly not helping, <laughs> I think. But anyway, I just feel like even though Toys R Us is kind of leaving us, I think that Groove, on the other hand, has really kind of stepped up its game in 2018. I think the last um, doll news I did was I was losing my mind because Groove was like coming out left and right with all of these new releases and they haven't stopped since. So I just wanted to talk about a few things and then also if there's news that I don't know, I'd always love to hear it. So I actually have, I have notes. Because if I don't, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep talking and bore you. Uh, all right, so the first thing I wanted to talk about, ooh, okay. I'm like coming right out of the gate with like the most exciting stuff, which is, so to celebrate Pulip's um, 15th anniversary, Groove is having an exhibition at the Yokohama Doll Museum in Yokohama, Japan. Starting in mid-April, it goes to June, and there's lots of stuff uh, involved in this exhibition. I know that in addition to having just displays of these dolls at this museum, I've never been to Yokohama, um, there's going to be contests. I think they're doing some kind of like a custom doll contest. Uh, I think there's auctions. There's, they're still coming out with the news about what they're going to be doing there. And this guy is going to Yokohama, yeah! for four days, because I'm a crazy person. I'm actually going to Japan at the end of May, and I am hoping to take footage of whatever I'm going to see. I, I have no words yet, because I'm so excited, and I'm a little bit afraid, because from San Diego, it's like an 11 hour flight, and then I'm gonna be there for like three or four days, and then I'm back on a flight to come home. Uh, it doesn't matter, because I've got strategy, I've got you know, I'll, I'll share all this in a little bit later uh, as we get closer to the date, but I am gonna be there. Uh, I am hoping to meet up with some of my fellow Dolly collectors. So if you're in Japan or thinking of going, uh, I am gonna be there the last week of May on that Sunday. So yay, I'm so excited. Uh, and then also to commemorate the 15th anniversary, uh, I think Groove is releasing, they've, they've shown us promo uh, photos of, of a doll, Pulip Etoile, Etoile. That's my French, now hold on, just a second. Before we shot this video, I was like, I know I'm saying it wrong, right? And I think I was like Etoile or something, but listen, hold on, I don't know if you can hear this. Etoile. 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 So that's, I'm learning. See, I learned my French. Thanks, Groove. And um, I've seen the promo photos. She is gorgeous. Yes, she does look like a super fancy dressed up alley, but I don't care because you can never have enough pull up alley uh, in your life. She's got kind of this cool, uh, the, the theme is starry sky dream. So she's got very ethereal look to her. Obviously, if she comes out, if she's a release, I'm gonna get her. Um, so I wanted to tell you about that. And then just kind of update you on some of the, um, the releases that are coming out. So excited that Pull Up Style is carrying pre-orders for Cinema Roll and Himawari. I've seen some of the promo photos for them on Instagram. They look fantastic. These dolls look just as beautiful as you would imagine they could be. Um, I have uh, Nanette, the Erica version, and Utena. And I'll tell you that the 2018 releases so far have been really impressive to me. And they should be because right the price seems to have gone up 
almost 100%. I, I remember when I started collecting pull-up like four years ago, I would spend about $100 a doll, which I thought was super steep. And now I'm just noticing these dolls are, the price just keeps kind of creeping up. So I almost feel like, okay, if that's the case, I'm probably gonna be buying fewer dolls, but the quality needs to be there as well. And so far, I'm impressed. Uh, and then also something kind of exciting is, because it wouldn't be Groove if we didn't talk about Sailor Moon releases. We always have Sailor Moon releases. Um, happy to see that they have Helios uh, as an ESOL release. I think that is the end of May coming out here in the US. Always excited to see an ESOL, right? Um, I'm, I almost feel like Groove is listening to us a little bit because we're always saying, we love ESOL, where's ESOL? Uh, so that is coming out end of May. And then I know that Bondi has done the initial release or, or pre-order for the wedding version of Usagi and Mamoru. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. I, don't, I need to Google that for pronunciation. But I don't have, and it's a two pack. So the Bandai pre-order version has the plush Luna, who's like dressed up for the wedding. I mean, I'm dying, I kinda need that. Um, I don't have a tuxedo mask doll yet. So, and the Usagi doll looks beautiful. So even though I'm like another Sailor Moon doll, I'm kind of torn about it because a two pack, yes please, they look beautiful. And at the same time, I'm like, oh, the same dolls re-released. But uh, really happy about that. That's supposed to be, it says June release. So in the States, it'd be end of July. Um, so anyway, there's so much going on. Um, if I missed anything, please let me know because I'm always trying to keep an eye on what's happening, what's being ordered, what's being released. Uh, and obviously I'm super excited about Japan, yeah! Um, so I will keep you posted on my trip and hope to talk to you soon.